Headphone amplifiers. Get them while they're small. Yeah, remember I've done like six giant ones? Let's go back to tiny. Here's the SAP4S that I have, that I've owned, with the little rubber band that I got at a deli on it, in the leather case. And here is the topping NX1, which is a new baby on the block. Ooh, Chinese, I should really learn. But how much easier manuals would be to read. Let's pop it out of its little cocoon. Now, it's not fair to compare it against this. There is an NX2, which is basically this, that is that I don't have to compare against, and they're roughly the same price. Uh, and I wouldn't even compare against the SAP4 because the SAP5 is out. There's the SAP5, which is the next model up. Hi-Fi Basie Portable Headphone Amplifier Black. And this sell, claims that it's the Ultra Slim Portable Headphone Amplifier Earphone Amplifier with USB DAC, which actually, that means it's competing with the M2. And here's the NX1 for 30 bucks. So this is a $30 headphone amp, which is probably the cheapest I'd go with. I have a little Fio E06, but it's, that's a little meh. And I, I'm going to now have to review this for $30, and we'll see how $30 stacks up. So what does it come with? It comes with cock rings, standard, standard fare now. You should all know about these. Two of those. It comes with a USB to USB. Uh, I guess that's for power. That's probably just a charge. It's a, it's a mini, not a micro. So there's always that. And it comes with a little three and a half jumper. That's nice. It also comes with a ton of these, which... <laughs> I don't know. These are like uh, Velcro circles. One, two, three, four, five sets of them. So five pair, so ten of them. And I'm not sure where you're supposed to Velcro this to, because it's, like I said, it's thick. It's thicker than my phone, just barely. It's not a bad size. I will say that the volume knob is retarded. The bad type of retarded. Like someone said, I really don't want something small and out of the way. Let's put a full size knob on there. And they did. And here it is. Uh, what do we got? We got high low gain on the bottom. We got an indicator for charging on the bottom. Actually, does that also indicate? No. There's the indicator for power. And we got a mini USB, which I have fallen out of love with. At some point in my career, I was like, why does everything go in micro? And then micro is just better. And I have now equal amounts of mini and micro cables. So that's irrelevant. Your power switch is there. It's a little... I guess it's not too tall. When you're talking about stuff like this, things are going to break and get smashed against it. And you want it to be the right size. So you get the power. You get the blue power indicator, of course. Everything's blue. Then you get the headphone out and the line in. And then you get a volume knob. Very, it's actually, it has a good knob. Mr. Knobfield would enjoy this. It's very linear. It's a little scratchy. It feels, it feels like a knob. It's a knob. Now, when you plug everything in, it doesn't weigh. Actually, it weighs. I am not a human scale. This is heavier, just slightly. It's got a big battery. I haven't been able to kill it. A lot of these little things. Unless I'm going on a bus trip for 15 hours, I can't really test them unless I just leave them playing on the desk. And then i got to eyeball it to see if it's dying. So, let's jump it from my phone. My wood-backed phone. Apparently the hardest phone on earth to rep repair, according to someone who's in that business that I know. Now, I'm running just Google Play Music. Running my personal collection that's uploaded there. Cock rings aside, USB charging aside. I brought out two hard to drive headphones. I've got my 600s here and the Mad Dergs. The Dergs. I bought a red V motor cable because I do actually sell them on Amazon. Okay. Plug in, volume down, power up. I'm assuming. Maybe not all the way on this, maybe two or three clicks down is where you want most things. Raising volume. 
Try on high or low. Let's try this on the low game. No. All right, that's maximum volume on low gain. Maximum volume on the phone. And that's listenable. Very, very listenable. Correct volume on the headphones. Psychotic, say, pick not Okay, yes. Postmodern jukebox. I may have to stick with only them for sound demos because... They're obviously on YouTube, but then again, they could rip. Ooh, that's louder. Oh, God, these man dogs are so good. They're both so different and so good. So let's lower this now from maximum, switch it to high mode, and see what kind of uh, levels I have to be at. Again, I'm going to stop shutting it off. I'm just going to lower that a bit. Three notches. Well, that's a pretty non-linear ramp up at the very end. It's a very small bump for going from low to high. It's not like a double the volume. It's just a bump. But I then think the... Uh, yeah, the very, very top end. That's full volume now. I mean, that's, that's maximum volume high gain, maximum volume on my phone. That's loud. But you never want to run an amplifier full volume, ever, 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 ever. So, not quite as ballsy as you want it. It will run Mad Dog. That's running the Mad Dogs right this second. Right now, it's running those Mad Dogs at a pretty good rate. I'd want to be down one or two notches on the phone and I'd want it to work in high gain at probably half volume and this can't handle that but it does work I'm not gonna blow your shit up it's not clipping or anything I'm not hearing any distortion God, these stock pads are like felt rollers just rub them against your clothing All right, high gain on these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's more violent. So the Mad Dogs are just a slight beyond. A slight beyond. And actually, this might be coming with me. This may be coming with me to Japan. On the plane ride, obviously. Because I'm bringing these for Japan. And if I use my 10-inch Android tablet or... I'm not going to use my phone, but if I, I'll probably bring my 10-inch Android tablet, watch a few movies, maybe catch, just on, catch up on some TV shows. Uh, these are the headphones to use on a plane. So, regardless of this having... I could use this. See, I'm not... Alright, this definitely works for 600s. Let's take this off now, and now I'm going to actually do something that's important for me and figure out uh, if this or this does better for Mad Dogs, because I have to do that now. I haven't used this in a while, by the way. Output, volume down. I'll borrow the NX1's wire. And of course, if I did it, I wouldn't use this little wire. I'd have whatever tablet and then like a three-footer to this that sat in my pocket or in a cup holder. And then I'd have the headphones on. Getting these through customs is going to be fun. Because they don't look like bombs at all. The song is ending. Let's go back to the middle of that song. See, this doesn't have a high-low gain switch. This is just whatever it is. And you know what? They've got similar... Similar, assuming this was high mode all the time, they have similar power outputs, these two. This just has the option to switch to a low gain, which for IEMs and stuff. But if you're running IEMs that are more efficient and you need a low gain anyway, then you're just buying this for extended battery life of your device. 
But sound quality, I can't. I think this has got a good, good separation bit. Can I plug them both in? Am I boss? Almost boss. Yeah, they're, they sound nearly identical. Nearly identical. This has, and this is double the cost of that. So, and this one is only the four. The five is the new one. Where is the five? So, and the five is only $46. So for $15 more than this, you can get the SAP 5, which has a base boost and no high-low gain, but has a base boost. It's free shipping. If it was Prime, I might pick that up before my trip to Tokyo. But, um, yeah. This will work for most headphones, especially most normal portable headphones. If you just need a little bit of a boost, this is fine. And I do like the shape of it. I do like, it feels like it's going to be fine. The, the volume knob could be smaller. The volume knob is just a little bit big. And I don't recommend anyone ever attach these things to their phone. That's just silly. I mean, you could, you could legit. I don't ever want to put one of these rubber band cock rings around my phone. No, not going to. Not going to now either. So look, for $30, you're not buying this for a desktop. You're buying this for portable use, and you're buying it for anything below Mad Dogs. Mad Dogs, and below, Mad Dogs are the cutoff for difficult to drive. I mean, but if you're taking 600 ohm headphones out, then you're spending a lot of money on those 600 ohm headphones. If you're spending a lot of money on 600 ohm headphones, you best spend a lot of money or more money than this on your portable amplifier. In fact, let's talk about the Oppo right now. 